Hey guys, it's Frankie with the Mavericks Rogues, and I'm here today with the Four Horsemen. I am Eric Treadaway. I'm a co-owner and a sculptor for Four Horsemen. The, the big thing that we brought here product-wise this year is a combination of uh, our advent of Decay line, which was our last Kickstarter, and since last year, uh, we've actually fi finalized the production and have shipped that, so we brought some of that product out. Um, and then we also brought uh, three show, uh, not exclusives, but preview yeah. figures, like first, uh, you know, first shot to get them uh, yeah. from our uh, Soul Spiller line, which we uh, solicited last summer, um, which is, um, uh, this one is the Fallon Frostbow figure. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we've got uh, Ragna Stormforger, which are, is our first female dwarf. Oh, and uh, this is our uh, Shadow Elf uh, Ranger figure, and so like, I, and all of these each have two different heads. So this guy's cool because he's got his kind of unmasked head, but he's also got a hooded head for like the more oh. ranger look, and he's got a you know, bow and arrow and quiver, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. so uh, this one, uh, this one's been a popular one for us. Exactly. Oh, so that's cool. That makes sense. So you have like little symbols depending on what wave it is. On the side uh, of the no, thing. these are uh, the, the characters' factions. Oh, okay. So what would this faction be? Uh, that is the Legion of Arathir. And so that is their evil uh, characters that are very uh, military gotcha. focused. Uh, like they're kind of like the warmongering faction. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so and so with, there's a total of 10 different factions throughout the, the line. And so, yeah, we've been coding those uh, from the beginning with oh. the, the faction symbols. Yeah, I, I love it. I'm being, uh, like, I'm a bit of a nerd right now because I, I love fantasy and, and like, role-playing games and stuff like that. So the fact that there's factions for the toys, I'm like... <laughs> um, I mean, what, what are the other factions? So you said this was what? The it's Legion of Arathir. All right. And, uh, um, uh, this one is the Order of Etheron. So these are uh, these are heroic knights that are. It's since it's pure fantasy, like it's you know it's, yeah. it's their religious based order, but you yeah. know not not like an earth based religion, yeah, but their own thing. But it's like a fantasy religion. Yeah, yeah. but definitely more like kind of like Crusader Templar type guys. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So like that one, that would be like another one in that fashion. Yes. Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that cool crusader look going. Yep. Uh, this is Zalona's flock, um, and these are heroic characters that are uh, led by the the elves, and these are like uh, these are more the nature-based characters. Okay, yeah. Like so, we've got nature elementals, woodland creatures, yeah, uh, elves, sense. things like that. Um, and so they're in again. They're one of our heroic oh, factions. That's, that's cool. What about this one? Looks kind of menacing. You want the star on the side there? What's uh, that one? These are Sons of the Red Star. Yeah. And uh, these are uh, assassins and cell swords. Um, so leaning toward evil, but for the right price, not yeah. necessarily. Evil. Gotcha. So, so it's kind of like Deadpool's morality. He's like kind of right there. He'll do the right thing, but if he gets paid to do the wrong thing, he'll do that. Yeah, I would say that's, that's a right. good good description. And uh, same, he's what same faction there. Um, uh, these are House of the Noble Bear. Oh, that's so cool. And so this is because we there's there's in the the story there's four heroic factions and four evil factions that yeah. are kind of direct opposite reflections of each other. But then there's also two like kind of splitter faction, wild card factions, and Sons of the Red Star is yeah. one of those. House of the Noble Bear is the other. Okay, so and so these are these are outliers um, that are visually more in the barbarian realm. Yeah. Um, so they're kind of like slightly more savage and definitely like misfit type characters. Um, and again, like both of these, they're not part of the main faction system, but they do yeah. have enough of a weight to these factions where they could come in and offset the balance one way or the other. Gotcha, so they, they can be affiliated with anybody at any time, that kind of helps. Uh, well, no, yeah, I mean, the, the, the these guys are definitely much more leaning toward the heroic side, whereas okay. the Sons of the Red Star are more toward the evil. So it is somewhat balanced now, but, you know, that, that could yeah, change. It could change in a second. So. 
So they're kind of like more like Conan, like they're barbarians, they'll, they'll kind of do the right thing at times. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, so and like this guy, he's one of them, he's like a more of a giant uh, barbarian. This, this, is a, a, this is a new scale that we're uh, factoring in. I like that a lot. I remember last year, yeah, like like those guys, uh, what was the, was he still up there, the, the Cyclops? Yeah, he's on the other side. There. Yeah. And actually the Cyclops, he's one of the, the Noble Bear faction as well. Really? Yeah, because it... it Another portion of that story is a lot of those characters were our state uh, Colosseum gladiators. Yeah. And so he was one of those as well. So he's actually a heroic troll. Oh, that's, so, that's pretty cool.